We've all done it. Started a project in DaVinci Resolve, got halfway through it, or even right to the end of it, thinking this is gonna be awesome. Only to realize that you forgot to set your project settings at the beginning and your frame rate's all wrong. Grrr. In the DaVinci Resolves of old, there was nothing you could do about it other than starting from the very beginning. Now, fortunately, in DaVinci Resolve 16, there's an easier way. And that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. My name's Alex and welcome to 5 Minute Friday. Now before we get into it, this is only for DaVinci Resolve 16. Also, in my example, my frame rate was set to 30 frames per second where I actually wanted it to be 24 because that's what all my footage was shot at. However, it worked for pretty much any frame rate at all. Right, enough of that. Let's boot up in DaVinci Resolve and we'll show you how it's done. Now as you can see, I've set up a bit of a mini project here, exactly the same as you'd normally see on your timeline. Now I'm gonna go to the bottom right hand corner and click on the cog and I'll show you that my timeline frame rate is set to 30 frames per second. Now because I've added clips to my media pool and to my timeline, that becomes locked. So I can't change that. No matter what I do in here, I cannot change that frames per second from 30. It's locked to 30. Now also, if I go to deliver, I've got my settings up here. You can see straight away it says frame rate 30. If I try and change that to something else, let's say I want to change that to 24, Again, I can't, it's locked at 30 frames per second. So, what can we do about that? Well, let's go back to the Edit tab, and what you actually need to do is to create a new timeline. Now, there's loads of different ways that you can create a new timeline. You can go up here and right-click in your media pool, Timelines, Create a New Timeline, or, as you can see there, it says Control and N, that's the shortcut, so you can hit Control and N, or you can go up to File, and then New Timeline. I'm just gonna click that now, and this window will appear. So you do wanna give this a name. It makes it much easier if you name your timelines. So I'm just gonna call this one 24 FPS. I only want one video track to start, one audio track. I can leave it as stereo and we'll leave it empty. We're then gonna click on use custom settings. And then we've got some tabs appear across the top. We're gonna to go to format. And then you've got some additional options. So you can see you've got your timeline resolution. So we can change that if we want to. I'm gonna leave this as 1080p. And then down here, we've got timeline frame rate. Now it's defaulted to 30, but if I click on the drop down, as you can see, I can change that. So I've got all my footage, as you can see over here, is filmed at 23.976, so 24 frames per second. So I'm just gonna select that one and then click on create. And that will create a new timeline where the frames per second is set to 23.976, which is perfect. But as you can see, I've actually lost the project. I've got nothing on here. But because it's a timeline, you can just switch back between the two. So you can either go into your media pool over the left. So I've got timeline one, which is my original one. If I double click, that'll open up here. And then I can switch to my 24 FPS. Or the way I prefer it up here, you've got this little red title. It's 24 FPS and there's a drop down. If we give that a click, you can see your two timelines there or however many timelines you've got and you can hop between the two. So we're gonna to go to our timeline one, which is this one. And then all we're gonna do, nice and simple, highlight everything on the timeline, right click, and then copy, or we can use the control and C shortcut. We're then gonna jump onto my 24 FPS timeline. We're gonna right click, and we're gonna paste. Or we could use the shortcut control and V and it'll paste everything onto this new timeline where the frame rate is set to 24 FPS. And then once you're happy, if we go to deliver, and you can see straight away now the frame rate is set to 23.976. And if we click the drop down, we've actually got some options. We could do 23, 24, or 30 frames per second. Now one quick thing to mention, even though you've set up a new timeline with those settings, if you click on the cog in the bottom right hand corner, it will always say 30 because technically the project is set to 30, but you can just create timelines that are set to a different frames per second. But if you set a timeline to 24, edit your video and then export it at 24 frames per second, it will play back at 24 frames per second or 30 or 60 or whatever it is that you've changed it to. And that's it. Easy as that. <sighs> and that's it folks. Easy as that. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was useful. If it was, do give me a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or feedback, make sure to put them down below and do subscribe for more DaVinci Resolve tutorials, vlogs, and general tech 
nerdy videos, all that sort of good stuff. Thanks ever so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Cheerio.